Yo guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be deep cleaning my bike, and that is my cat kitty. Um, but yeah, I'm in the frame now. I'm going to be deep cleaning my bike, and then I'll make another video to see my bike. So I can have a date of filming tomorrow, so it's going to be really cool. But to start off, I have all my cleaning stuff. I'll get it for you. Sorry, my head's not in the frame, but I can't really help it. Um, so yeah, I have my cleaning stuff here. I use it all the time. So first, what you've got to do is spray the whole BMX or mountain bike down with some sort of formula. I don't know. This is just bike cleaner. I got it from the Decathlon. Yes, yeah, so you just spray it all over when it's dry and then get it a little bit wet and rub it in. So now you scrape like a cloth or whatever. I've got a kitchen normal cloth. And what I'm going to do is get this a little bit wet. And I have like a sprayer it's over here. Let's get this a little bit wet. Just so it doesn't like if it has any um, stones or like it, it won't rub in and scratch your paint. And yeah, and then just rub it in and trying to get all that obviously the dirt, the dust and the debris off. Let's make a little nice train because I haven't washed this bike in a good old time. It's probably been a couple of months, let's say. Um, but yeah. Now what I do is I just spray it down completely just to get the rest of the um, soap off. And I've got to pump mine up because it's not like a natural fresh water that comes into the water. That should be enough. And just spray it down to get so there's a bit of soap coming off. And then I will dry it. Um, but obviously I don't want it to rust. And I will be degreasing de and lubing the chain as well and my wheels are quite dirty so I'm just going to spray them with this they don't need any like hose or anything I mean um, soap because they just need, they need to be sprayed but yeah so now I've got this rag and I'm just going to wipe it down with this to make sure it's completely dry and none of little rust and if there's any rust spines then I've got some touch up paint so it doesn't carry, continue and carry on throughout the bike I'm now going to degrease and lube the chain. I have a degreaser and oil. This is basically just gets all the old grease off without doing much. It is really good. I'll zoom in for you right now. So that's just run out, but that's good because um, it's fine tomorrow. But yeah, now I have this wet cloth from earlier that I cleaned it with. It doesn't matter about the soap. Um, just want to touch up the sides because it's been obviously overspray and that's going to be oily and that's obviously going to ruin the shine of the bike. But I won't do this area, that's going to get a bit more now. It's all down here on that bit of pedal. This pedal. Nice. And this tyre, actually, I'll do that afterwards. But now I'm just going to run around the areas here just to get all the debris off. Um, and I might even just go around the tyres a little bit. Not the tyres, sorry. Um, but yeah, that looks good. There's still a bit of dirt because obviously it just um, ran out. But now I just have this like three in one oil here, and I'm just gonna put it on and go around very slowly with the pedal. That's 
So now I've got the final little bits where oil has gone on to, and there's a bit of oil dripping off, that's obviously just standard. Um, and then I'll go give a wipe down with the tyres. Um, yeah, so there's a little bit of oil down here that I've missed earlier. And now I will do along here, get it all nice and clean, because it will ruin your paint um, once, you, once you've uh, left it on there for a bit. And then, yeah, just give it a wipe down on the car with a different cloth. That one you used earlier probably is the best. And just take it, get on the bike like this, and just take it around the tyre just to get it completely clean to make the final look as best as it could be. And do the exact same for the front. It's now complete, completed there and looks pretty cool. It's very shiny and I'll let me just do some cinematics for you. things whatever you want to call it but i finished up on this video and now i'm gonna make a brand new video staying in the exact same place and the exact same camera angles fixing my headset because i had the problem when i got the bike and i want to fix it and show you how to do it so i can have a day off tomorrow no filming that'd be nice so i want to say thank you very much for watching this video please like and subscribe and see you in tomorrow's video bye